I pulled up to the drive through window. The cashier pointed at the logo on my shirt. We will never forget. I burst into tears. He looked mortified and handed me my green chili cheeseburger and fries. I'm working in the trauma room. A chief flight nurse grounded because I'm eight months pregnant. I'm waiting for the patient my program is flying in when someone breaks through the back doors screaming, I just saw a helicopter crash. The explosion was so close, I feel it. I waddle back through the ER, point at the charge nurse. I'm out of here. I have to go. In two minutes, I'm at the scene and trying to call my crews. No answer. Crap. I hope it's not my friends. I hope it's not anyone. I call my husband. He can't understand what I'm saying, that we had a crash. He thinks something is wrong with our baby. Smoke that burns my eyes. The smell of fire. People pushing past a cop who's trying to secure the scene. A good friend, a doctor from the hospital, grabs my shoulders and tries to turn me around. Jen, let's go. There's nothing you can do. I can't leave. I have to find out what's going on. Who is IC? They tell me it's not my helicopter. It's another program's. So where is mine? Where is my crew? I won't fly anymore. I'm done. I sit outside the trauma bay on a cart trying to let the ER do their thing. Honestly, I can't physically step into the room. I look at the other program's team, grieving, sobbing. I feel guilty because all my crew members were transported, but none of theirs were. I'm asked to find a chest tray. I try and I try, but I can't find it. I can't even recognize what I was looking for. I set that ER up. I knew every nook and cranny. Press conferences, NTSB, FAA, crash site visits, dealing with family, Hours and hours in a waiting room, making sure crews have food, housing them at my home, listening. When things were really tough, those first two days, I'd go down to the ER and use the ultrasound machine on my own belly. I just wanted to hear a heartbeat. Weeks go by, funerals, services, Worldwide media attention, our flight volumes are down. I don't even know normal anymore. I've quit my job. I've had my little girl. I want this to just be a happy time, and it can't be. Months go by. The phone rings. I know who it is and why they're calling. I answer and accept the job as chief flight nurse of the other program. When I walked in the first day, maybe no one ever said it, but I could hear it anyway. You're one of them, and they hit us. I'm still learning as I see both sides. I want us all to heal, and I will never forget.